them. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. As always, there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up. I do try to post as regularly as possible with as many new releases as possible so being subscribed and turning that notification bell on will go a long way in ensuring that you never miss out on all the fun, new content, new releases releases and everything that is the Fawn family. Now today was a very successful first impressions face day, not like the last one that I did. I don't know which one's going up first, this one or the one that was just like filled with so many fails, uh, but this one was a good one so I'm just going to get into it and start breaking everything down and I will link the corresponding eye tutorial with this video depending which one goes up first, but they will be linked so you know how to get this look and what's on my eyes as well. Now, I am blown away by the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation. This is so beautiful. I bought these Pacifica releases the day that they were released, and I wanna say that was maybe a month ago, and I can't believe I've been sitting on it and haven't tried this out yet. It is such a beautiful foundation. All the Pacifica products I'm going to talk about are both 100% vegan and cruelty free. They are very affordable. You can get it from Ulta and it is just beautiful. This gives such a nice, it, it's like full coverage, but it doesn't really look full coverage. It still looks very much skin-like. It's so lightweight, you don't feel it. It blended out like a dream. It is just flawless and so beautiful. It hasn't settled into my fine lines, my smile lines, nothing. I, this is gorgeous and I believe there are 30 shades. So it's a really good shade range for one drugstore, two affordable drugstore, three a new launch. Like I think they did a really good job and I just, I'm blown away by the formula. It is gorgeous. Great time with the packaging. It's even so sleek and just beautiful. Now the concealer, it's again Pacifica. Oh, and it does have a slight plant earthy scent to it, but it totally dissipates. You just smell it while you're blending and then it's gone. So don't worry about that. And all three products do have the same smell. The Concealer is beautiful. It blends out so flawlessly. The coverage is awesome. My only little gripe is that it did kind of crease. It's not the worst creasing concealer I've ever used, but it did crease. So it's not like creaseless. It's not totally just airbrush and flawless, but it's affordable, it is beautiful, it layers really nicely on top of like a color corrector. It did set very well with powder, so I'm not sure if it's one of those concealers that is better not really being set because initially it has a little bit of a luminous finish to it. It's not dewy, like it's not dewy, but it does have more luminosity to it than a typical uh, concealer does. So I did really enjoy it. I just wish it didn't crease. It did buff away. So I took my damp and beauty blender and I just kind of buffed it and then a lot of the creases did go away and they have not come back. So maybe less is more with this product too. So I would still recommend it. I do want to play with it a little bit more, but I do think that it is beautiful and I think it would be a really great no makeup makeup concealer as well. Then the setting powder is really nice too. It comes in a really great compact that keeps it very clean. You lift the lid up and then it has the mesh and powder under there. And it's very dusty though, I will say that. The only thing that I do want to bring to your attention is that it gives the slightest pink sheen to your face for the luminosity, but you're not like 
seeing pink. When you're up close and you're really shifting your face around, there is this ever so slight pink glow, but you really have to move and then stare at your skin because it will go away depending on how you move. And it set the foundation beautifully. It locked it down. It wasn't tacky afterwards. It felt really nice. It doesn't look powdery. I really do enjoy this setting powder a lot. But if you guys are a little bit scared about a pink sheen, it's in there, but it's just, it's so minimal, but it is there. And then I tested out the Makeup Revolution Onyx Primer. It's a blurring and mattifying black gel primer. However, it does come out sheer. So while you put it on, you kind of have a slight blackish gray cast for a second, but then it just totally disappears and it is completely clear. Now, I don't know if it's really mattifying. To me, it felt very nourishing and hydrating. It wasn't like sucking the life out, mattify, oil control, but I have normal skin so I don't know if it would perform better on oily skin for the mattifying effect, but either way it did blur my pores. It felt really great. It blended so smoothly, so I really do like it. I obviously need to test it out with more foundations, but it did perform really well. Then I picked up the Bio Effect Osa Water Mist from Sephora. This is a really nice water mist. It's super hydrating, very nourishing. The only thing with it is it's more of a harsh spray and it doesn't really look it when you're just spraying. Like it just seems like it's like powerful. But a couple droplets come out like droplets, not the way it should as a mist. So I would recommend using this as your skincare step, not over makeup. I haven't tested it over makeup, but I did put it on my bare skin and there were a few droplets and I was like, mm, I don't want to put that over makeup, but it is really, really nice. Woo! As I knock everything over, like every video, why wouldn't I? Uh, then I tested out the two new and limited edition brushes from Alt It for Ulta. I grabbed the foundation and the powder brush. I love that they are crystal handles. They come with crystal bracelets. I do wear them in the video. I took it off when I got dressed and forgot to put it back on. But I really do believe in like the healing powers of crystals and energy and what they can do for you. So I thought that it'd be really cool to have like you know, crystal brushes and then the bracelets. So the pink one is Love and Harmony, I want to say. The Rose Quartz. Loving and Soothing is the pink one. And the Jade, the green, is Harmonizing and Healing. So it, both brushes are really nice too. Buffing out the foundation, using the powder brush. I enjoyed the brushes a lot and I really do enjoy the crystal aspect as well. Then again, the Elsie highlighters, the Eclipse highlighters, I purchased the day they launched and I just got around to testing them and do we see how beautiful these highlights are? I, I just, they're so gorgeous. I already loved the other highlights that Elsie dropped. They actually stay top shelf and they travel with me everywhere. They don't stay here ever and these are so beautiful and buildable and glowy and just, whew, I'm obsessed. So I laid down soul, soul <laughs> all over. That's like the golden one. And then I spotlighted with Luna, which is a little bit more of a pink tone. And it's just, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot recommend these enough. Just, I could stare at that highlight all day, all day. These ones will now officially be coming with me on every vacation, work trip, whatever it is, going to my parents. These are not staying behind. And I don't know how I'm gonna pick and choose because I am so obsessed with these and I have so many amazing highlights and I know I have to make a highlight video and it's only getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the day, but Okay, then I tested out two of the Jouer Duo blushes. The Rose Gold, this baby is limited edition, and then the Adore blush, 
I use first because the Adore Blush Duo are matte blushes. So I dumped into this shade and laid down a base and showed you guys what this shade looks like. And then I went into the Rose Gold Limited Edition palette and dumped into this shade because it's very luminous and showed you guys a comparison between the two cheeks and then put the luminous all over afterwards. So good. I tested out the Jouer palette, blush palette in the last full face which I'm, like I said, I don't know which one's going up first. And that palette was beautiful. And these two duos are gorgeous. It was my first time using Jouer blushes and I really love it. They are pigmented, but blendable and subtle at the same time. And you can really build up the intensity or you can have a very light wash of color. So I love the versatility with these blushes because sometimes you don't want a bam pigmented blush and other days you do want it and I feel like you can get whatever coverage opacity out of the blush that you want with these Jouer blushes. I do enjoy them. Then I swatched, lip swatched eight of the new NYX Candy Slick glosses. I am currently wearing S'more Please. Right? No. Am I? Shoot. No, I'm wearing Cream B. <laughs> I'm wearing this one. I uh, These are phenomenal. They are so ridiculously amazing. They give the most beautiful color. They go on very gel-like, but they kind of dry to almost a um, powdery finish. Kind of. They are so pigmented. And one dunk is way more than enough. You can actually wipe the doe foot applicator off before going in. The colors are gorgeous. The staying power is so good. I've had this shade on me for just over an hour now. I've been talking, drinking, just living life, and it has not budged. It just settled down even more budge proof than when I was doing the lip swatching at the end of this video. And the formula is just so good and they smell like candy. I'm starving. I'm waiting for Kurt to come home with McDonald's fries and I'm going to hammer those, but I cannot recommend these glosses enough. They are just brilliant. And the deep red that I started with is single serving. It's just delicious. They're all delicious. But then uh, watermelon taffy is actually such a nice pink and then same with cream B the one I'm wearing and s'more please such great nudes and pinky nudes but the oranges even the hot pink it's fantastic just wait till you see it so if you guys want to see all of these fantastic products put in action then just keep on watching all right so we are going to do some more full face first impressions I do have a lot of products to get through I just did my brows first I've never actually done my brows before foundation so I thought I would just give that a shot today but I didn't do it on camera because it's brows so you know it's boring but I do have uh, some new products from Pacifica. I've never used anything makeup related from Pacifica. I don't believe. I love their body sprays. They smell so refreshing, lightweight, and just really beautiful. And you can use it as a hair refresher too. But, oh, that's Makeup Revolution. <laughs> I did pick up these guys from Pacifica, that are from Ulta, the day that it launched, which was like maybe a month ago. And I've been really curious about it. So we do have the Pacifica, Pacifica a light clean foundation. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's an oil free anti shine and satin finish. You get just under an ounce. So you get 0.90 ounces or 28 milliliters. It's not too far off from your stereotypical foundation. I did get Warm Light 37WL. I don't typically get a warm foundation shade, but when I was looking at the swatches online, this did look like it would be the closest to me, so we're going to find out. Look how beautiful the bottle is. And Pacifica is really affordable as well. And then I picked up the Natural Mineral... I cannot speak. Natural Minerals liquid cover full coverage lasting concealer again it's vegan and cruelty free and i picked up 20 nf 
I love this packaging. I think it is so chic and pretty. And then I also grabbed their setting powder, Crystal Rays Luminous Translucent Setting Powder. Again, vegan and cruelty free. It just looks so cute. And then we're also gonna test out the Makeup Revolution Onyx Primer. It's a blurring and mattifying black gel primer. Slightly concerned about it, but we'll see. It says that the black gel-like texture blends sheer for a blurred and mattified base. So we'll see how this works. This is also vegan and cruelty-free. And then what just arrived, I got a lot that arrived today actually, is the BioEffect Osa Water Mist. This sounded incredible. I got it off of Sephora and it is made with pure soft geologically filtered Icelandic water that hydrates and balances the skin. It contains ortho orthosilic, oh my gosh, orthosilicic acid. I've never heard of that a new bioavailable silica purified from geothermal sources. It instantly absorbs oil, resulting in powdery soft mattified skin. It also includes optimized hyaluronic acid, boom, for around the clock hydration. You can use it to refresh, hydrate, and mattify your skin. And it says that it is ideal for using with their cleansing water, but I mean, all companies say that. I want to say this was a pricey, my light is flickering at me. Uh, a pricey water, like it may have been something like $50, maybe 60, but everything on Sephora just sounded so incredible that I really wanted to try this out. That's really cute. And there's the spray. Let's see how this sprays. Ooh, it's nice. Okay, nope, that spits, ooh! Okay, don't open your eyes. Um, that does kind of spit at you in a funny way. I don't think I'd recommend putting this over top of makeup. Because it's not just harsh, some of the droplets that are coming out are more like a droplet rather than a mist. But just to put as skincare, so far that's really nice and it is super refreshing. It has like a nice little chill to it. So. I will be playing with this further and letting you guys know that might be really great in the summertime as well. So now let's go in with this primer. You get 0.61 ounces or 18 milliliters. Oh, I'm also testing out this Slip Silk headband for the first time. I ordered pink and black off Sephora the day it launched. The black got canceled on me, so I went to Slip Silk's website. They have so many goodies. I may have done some damage once I went there, but I did also order the black one. Uh, without trying it, because I'm so obsessed with Slip Silk products in general, scrunchies, there's uh, tight scrunchies, these big scrunchies, their pillowcases, their eye masks, it's all just so great for your skin and causing, um, and not causing premature aging, helping with not having hair breakage. So I wanted to try this out. And for anybody who is a migraine sufferer, this is the most loose, comfortable headband while still pulling the hair back that I've ever tried. So it might be something that you guys would be interested in as well. Now let's get into this primer. <laughs> She's black. Not much comes out. Okay, so these this applicator is kind of useless or droplet. Well, it definitely goes on sheer. Well, this feels really wonderful and it actually feels somewhat hydrating considering that it's supposed to be mattifying, 
but I like that. So we'll just see how foundation performs. And if this foundation is terrible over this primer, we will give it another shot with a different primer moving forward. So now I'm just going to quickly color correct and I will be right back. I also picked up these new limited edition IT brushes for Ulta. I really do believe in like healing powers of crystals and good energy and that sort of thing. So when I saw that they made brushes and little bracelet kits with the crystals, I thought I'd grab it. So you get a rose quartz foundation brush and bracelet. And this is saying that rose quartz is known for its loving and soothing properties. And then this one you get a powder brush and jade bracelet. And this one is known for harmonizing and healing properties. Now I already know that I love it cosmetic brushes so much. So I'm not worried about the performance of these. But we're going to test them out and I'm going to pop the bracelets on. So beware when you're pulling it out if you guys pick this up because the little it... Um, I don't know what you would call that symbol whatever it's like caught in there and if you just pull it then it might end up tearing on you but this is really nice because it's stretched so you don't have to worry about trying to clamp it and close it and this is a really nice sturdy crystal brush oh that's so soft I just love it cosmetics brushes and that's a really nice foundation brush and those are super cute okay so let's go in with the foundation are you not a pump? You are a pump. Okay, I can already tell that it is warm toned when I am more neutral, sometimes cool toned, but we'll make it work. The swatches online just did not look that warm toned. You know, blending it out, it is way more neutral cool. This is so weird. This is beautiful. It is so pretty. The coverage is amazing. The finish is beautiful the way it blended out. It is so lightweight. This is stunning. Wow. So far, I'm not a fan of doing my brows first though. I really do like to just go in. So I don't know if I'll do that again in the future, but this foundation is bomb. Alright, we're going to go in with the concealer. You get 0.26 ounces or 7.5 milliliters. Cute little doe foot. The only thing I would say about the Dove applicator is I wish it was a little bit larger. You do have to dunk in several more times compared to something like the Tarte Shape Tape where it's a nice, large, and in charge doe foot. But you guys, I really can't get over this foundation. It is so beautiful.
This concealer is just melting into the skin too. This is so pretty. Wow. All right, I just quickly set my under eyes with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Matte Powder Foundation uh, Powder in 1N0 Porcelain because this powder is luminous, so I don't wanna put that under the eyes, but now we're gonna set the rest of the face with it. So it comes looking like this. So, oh, it has a nice mesh. Nice and clean, I like it. It's powdery though. <laughs> oh yeah, I meant to mention to you guys, the foundation does have a light scent to it, but it does go away and you don't smell it once you blend it out. It's just a little bit like plant-based type of a smell and this powder has the same smell. This setting powder really sets the face nicely. It definitely mattifies. The only thing that some of you guys might not like is depending how you shift your face, there's like the slightest pink glow. I mean, it is ever so slight and it's there to make it radiant, but there is a, a, a pink glow. All right, I just quickly contoured and bronzed off of camera because I don't have any new products as far as that is concerned. But I do have these two Jouer. Oh, oh no, I just ran this right through the blush. Mm, that makes me sad. I do have these two Jouer uh, duos. I did test out the palette in my last full face. I don't know which full face is going up first though because I'm way happier with this full face than I am the last one and I feel like everybody needs to know how awesome these products are so far. The foundation isn't even settling into fine lines or anything. It's just beautiful. Now this Jouer is the Adore Blush Duo. You have Adore Me and Hold Me. These are more like matte finishes. And then the other baby is the Rose Gold Blush Duo and this one is the Luminous. And this one is limited edition, the Luminous Rose Gold one. Now what I'm thinking of doing is dunking my brush into the matte one from the first palette and then, the sorry, the matte, nude peachy one and then going into the radiant peachy one in this palette. I will say the concealer is getting a little bit more creasy than some of my other concealers do. So I wanna point that out, but the foundation isn't creasing or settling into fine lines or anything like that. Okay, so this is what the matte blush looks like. It's very pretty. Now we're gonna dunk into the luminous one. is really pretty. It does give a little bit more something something 
This is the luminous, and then the matte. I also picked up the LC Eclipse highlighters when they dropped and just I have so many products I'm having such a hard time getting through everything and then getting sick was a major setback so I'm so sorry that a lot of these aren't like right off the press fresh but you know I'm doing it so I love 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 LC's uh, other highlights, I actually keep them top shelf and I always travel with these guys. I think that these are some of the best highlights I have ever tried. They are so, so stunning. So when Elsie dropped these ones, I had to get my hands on them. So I picked up Luna. Oh my God, that's so pretty. That is just beautiful. And then I also picked up Saul. So we're gonna go in with Saul first, and I'm going to grab my Ray Morris Deluxe Kabuki number one brush. We're just going to swirl this baby around, and then I'll probably spotlight with Luna. So pretty, so pretty. I, Elsie kills it on highlights. Wow, this is so beautiful. Wow. I swear Elsie can do no wrong in the highlight game, for sure. I'm not sure what else I've tested from Elsie. That might actually be it, just highlights. I don't know, but so far, all the highlights are amazing. I've used four highlights, this will be the fifth one. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Fan Pro and we're gonna go into Luna to Spotlight. And this is how it looks all set and melted. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this base. I wish the concealer didn't crease so as much. I mean, it's not the worst creasing concealer I've ever tried. It's just not the least creasing either. But I love the primer, the foundation. I do love the concealer. I love, um, oh my gosh, the highlights. That water mist was really nice. All of this is so beautiful. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go do my eyes and then I do have the newest uh, NYX Cosmetics Candy Slick glosses to lip swatch at the end of this video. So I'm gonna save that for when my eye look is done. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Don't believe me, just watch. Alright, I just finished doing four lip swatches in the eye tutorial look and now we have eight of these babies to get through. 
my lips are not going to be happy by the end of it, but here we go. So these are the new, very new, NYX Candy Slick Glowy Lip Colors. I picked up eight shades, and we're going to start with Single Serving. Look how pretty this packaging is. I really enjoy it. Those are very much sealed. There's the doe foot. These look really pigmented and juicy. It smells really good. Wow, look how pigmented that is. That was one dunk and there was still so much product on the doe foot left over. And this formula is very gel-like and nourishing and it feels really comforting. Like this feels awesome. I can't, I mean the only thing that, uh, okay that isn't cool. The only thing that I can somewhat compare this to are the M Cosmetics Lip Cloud Glosses. It kind of has a similar vibe, but damn the color intensity. And it smells delicious, it smells like candy, it feels so good. Whew, I love these all already, whoa. So good. So good. Next up we have Jaw Breaker. These are so nice and they're not bleeding onto the teeth if you blot. So I blotted with this one and you're golden. It just needs a blot because there's so much pigment. But damn, these are beautiful. Now we have Sweet Stash. These are so gel-like, it is crazy. I can't get over the feeling, you guys need to try these, wow. So good. Now we have Jelly Bean Dream. But you guys, this is so good, <laughs> so good. Four more to go. Now we have some more, please. beautiful nude like this is pretty perfect watermelon taffy a beautiful soft pink. Whoa. Wow. 
Sugar Coated Kiss. They did have some other colors as well. I just got the ones that I thought I would wear. pretty too. I know I have some hot pink left over on my rim. I'm sorry, I just saw that. These feel like they're gonna have really decent staying power too. Like they just kind of grip your lip and there's so much pigment that I think that these are gonna be pretty budge proof, especially for a gloss. And the last one is Cream B. My lips are officially burning and they feel like they're gonna fall off. This might be my favorite. But I really love this, I love Cream Bee, S'more Please, and Watermelon Taffy so, so much. I also love that first red, single serving. Like, single serving, and then these three nudes, but all of them, I mean, even the hot pink. These are so beautiful. You guys need to get these. Like, you need these in your lives. Holy cow. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep this one on, see how it wears while I'm talking, drinking. I'm sure it's gonna come off when Kurt comes home with my McDonald's fries, but I'll see how long it wears and then, well, not how long it wears, but I'll let you know how the wear is in the intro of this video. So that does it for this video. Please thumbs it up if you liked it. Please share it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.